ओम शांति 25th October 2022 English Murli Essence Sweet children you are karma yogis while performing actions stay in remembrance of the father by staying in remembrance you won't perform sinful actions question what is one main reason for not being able to connect your intellect in yoga to the father answer greed if someone has greed for perishable things or an interest in eating good food or wearing good clothes then that person's intellect would not be connected to the father this is why baba shows you a matter children just have greed for claiming your inheritance from the unlimited father don't have greed for anything else if you do the thing you love the most will be remembered at the end and your status will be destroyed today's song Awaken O bright awaken the new age is about to dawn Om shanti you children know that the whole world says we are all brothers so why are those souls not able to understand that they are children of the one father that he is the creator and that we are the creation animals wouldn't say that they are brothers it is human beings who understand and say that they are all brothers the father the creator is only one he is called the supreme father the supreme soul it is not possible that a sister would be called a brother when all of you consider yourselves to be souls you say that you are all brothers there couldn't be anything other than souls there couldn't be so many physical children of one father you now remember very well that you are all brothers the father sits here and teaches you children god says o oh, children therefore he is teaching many is he not he would not say o oh, arjuna he would not mention the name of just one person he is teaching everyone in a school the master would say o oh, children study very well they are students but the teacher is mature and so he calls the students children they are no one considers himself to be a soul they just have physical relationships gandhi ji was given the status of bapu in brackets father a mayor is also called father such a status is given to many here you souls understand that you are brothers therefore brothers definitely need the father all souls know that he is their father and that he is called god the father souls say he is god our father a physical father would not be called god you know that you are souls baba has come to teach you that is he has come to purify the impure he will make us pure from impure and make us into the masters of the pure world no one knows these things you children know him here but you forget him when you perform actions stay in remembrance and you won't perform sinful actions you are karma yogis sanyasis have renunciation of karma they simply have yoga with the brahm element however they are unable to have yoga throughout the whole day they have yoga in order to go to the brahm element they feel that by remembering the brahm element they will merge into it however they are unable to remember the brahm element throughout the whole day their sins cannot be absolved with that remembrance the purifier is remembered only the father is that they don't call the brahm element or other elements the purifier everyone calls the father the purifier no one calls brahm the father nor does anyone do tapasya of the brahm element they do tapasya of shiv there are temples to shiva 
could a temple be built to the elements souls reside in the brahm element in their egg form and this is why the name brahmand is mentioned in the scriptures that is not really a name for it is the home for instance so many corporeal human beings reside beneath the sky element and so souls reside up there in the same way you children know that you receive the knowledge of the beginning the middle and the end of the whole drama from baba you come to know all the secrets you understand the knowledge of the whole tree and then become master seeds the supreme father the supreme soul has all knowledge and we are his children he sits here and explains to us how this kalp tree is created sustained and destroyed when you speak of creation it is as though he creates a new world the word establishment is better he purifies the impure through brahma the word purifier is definitely needed everyone in the golden age is in salvation whereas everyone in the iron age is in degradation why how did degradation take place no one knows this they think that the bestower of salvation for all is one the soul understands that this is a game they sing praise of the father as sada shiv in brackets constantly benevolent shiva is the one who gives happiness he is remembered as the remover of sorrow and the bestower of happiness there used to be the kingdom of lakshmi and narayan in bharat it is no longer that lakshmi and narayan are called a goddess and god who established their kingdom god is incorporeal and souls receive the inheritance from him it is souls take 84 births and continue to descend while descending they become degraded you have to explain that god is not omnipresent that father is the bestower of salvation and we are all brothers we are not the father it is not said that the father adopted the form of brothers no this is why you first have to ask them what is your relationship with the supreme father the supreme soul they all know their physical relations the incorporeal one is the father of souls he is called heavenly god the father the father must definitely have made you into the masters of the new creation we are no longer the masters we were happy so who made us unhappy people don't know this ravan's kingdom has continued for half a cycle therefore this has become the condition of bharat bharat is the birthplace of the supreme father the supreme soul god came in bharat he must definitely have established heaven the birthday of shiva is also celebrated you can even write for example we are now celebrating such and such a birthday people would be amazed at what you say also give them greetings and tell them that you are celebrating the birthday of the purifier the bestower of salvation the supreme father the supreme soul shiva on that day you should have a lot of celebration and festivity the birthday of the bestower of salvation for all is not a small thing you should drop leaflets from aeroplanes over big cities it would then also be printed in the newspapers you should make very beautiful cards you should write a lot of praise of the most beloved father he has come to make bharat into heaven once again that same father is teaching raj yoga he is the one who also gives the inheritance you should print attractive cards for shiva's birthday you can even print them on plastic however as yet your intellects are very small 
in brackets limited only a handful out of multi millions will become kings and queens whereas those who are careless will surely become subjects there is the rosary of 108 but there will be many subjects don't just think that you are careless but make a lot of effort baba explains to you a great deal but you scarcely put anything into practice here you consider yourselves to be the children of god in brackets allah but when you go outside maya makes you into bats in brackets ullu maya is so strong only a few will emerge to claim the kingdom even the moon dynasty is considered to be of those who failed you know everyone's study and their status would anyone in the world know the status of ramchandra baba explains to you very well how you should print first class invitation cards for shiv jayanti so that people are amazed by them the churning of the ocean of knowledge has been remembered shri baba doesn't have to churn the ocean this is the duty of you children baba advises you if something enters the intellect of someone but he doesn't put it into practice baba would call him a fool you children know that the supreme father the supreme soul is making you into the masters of the land of vishnu through brahma destruction has to take place through shankar the trimurti is a baba you are all guides who teach the spiritual pilgrimage you can even write truth brings victory truly the true baba is teaching us how to gain victory that is he is enabling us to gain victory if someone objects to this you can explain to him baba was thinking about how shiv jayanti should be celebrated the god of the gita is shiv not krishna you have to make this widely known that one is the creator whereas this one is the creation from whom would you receive the inheritance shri krishna is the first creation they have portrayed krishna arriving on a pebble leaf floating on the ocean this refers to the palace of a womb in heaven there is pleasure in the palace of a womb here in hell a child would be agitated in the jail of a womb in the golden age the womb is a palace whereas in the iron age the womb is a jail the picture of krishna is so good he is kicking hell away you have written about the 84 births of krishna god speaks you don't know your own births i tell you about them therefore i explain to those who have taken the full 84 births it is so easy manners are also required there should be greed for claiming your inheritance from the unlimited father and not for anything else therefore you must and keep anything that would pull your intellect otherwise your status will be destroyed remove your intellect from everything including your body remember the one father if someone has accumulated a lot of furniture he would remember that when he dies whatever you have a lot of love for that will definitely be remembered at the end the father explains to you children don't keep anything hidden away due to greed you can receive everything from the yagya if you keep something secretly hidden away your intellect will dangle after that baba's orders are this is shri baba's treasure store children should receive everything from here you shouldn't even have the thought so and so has a good sari so i too should wear one like that oh ho have you come to the father to claim your inheritance of the kingdom or the inheritance of a sari everyone has great regard for those who do good service
Tell them, I cannot fear anything except that which I have received from Shibaba's treasure store. I will receive everything from just the Yajna. Then there will be remembrance of Baba. I received this from Shibaba's treasure store. Otherwise, the habit of stealing will be instilled. Only if you sacrifice yourselves here, will you receive many first-class things there. Sometimes Shibaba even tests you children to see how much body consciousness you have. You have promised whatever you feed me, whatever you give me to wear. You should understand in your hearts that Shibaba gave you those. You should have such a first class stage. If you want to claim your full inheritance from Baba, then make full effort by following Srimad. Follow Baba's advice. Since you say Mama, Baba, follow them completely. Show everyone the path. We received our inheritance from Baba and we are receiving it once again. Continue to stay on the pilgrimage of remembrance. Baba explains, the more powerful you become, that much more strongly Maya will come to you. Why do you become confused? Baba writes to some children, you are going to do very good service. However, storms of Maya then come. Am I going to remain celibate all my life? Even in old age, your intellects will spin in this way. I want to get married. I want to do this. Maya makes even old ones become young again. She will harass you a great deal. Why are you afraid? No matter how many storms come, you will be saved by remembering Baba. Acha. To the sweetest, beloved, long-lost and now-found children, love, remembrance, and good morning from the mother, the father, Bab Dada. The spiritual father says namaste to the spiritual children. The spiritual children extend their love, remembrance, say good morning, namaste, and thank you to the spiritual Bab Dada. Essence for Dharana First point, don't keep anything secretly hidden with you due to greed. Continue to follow the Father's directions. Number two, whatever Baba feeds you and whatever He gives you to wear, take everything from Shri Baba's treasure store. Don't become body conscious. Follow Mama and Baba completely. Blessing, may you be a master and a child and stay constantly full by sharing and increasing all your treasures. The Father has given all of you children treasures equally and made you into masters. All of you have received equal treasures, but if one of you is not full, the reason for that is you don't know how to look after and increase your treasures. The way to increase them is to share them and the way to look after them is to check them constantly. When the guards of both attention and checking are working well, your treasures will remain constantly safe. Slogan Perform every action with the faith and intoxication of having all rights and you will not have to work hard. Om Shanti